News Storm Team. Welcome back to KX News at noon and I mean the sun is starting to shine but man I walked outside this morning and that wind is feeling really crisp outside. It's very it's hitting the skin I guess you could say. Yeah we wind seen chills. yeah we seen that uh, northwest wind right now so that's what's causing that chill in the air yeah, and it's it. feeling like it's early fall right now instead of late fall if you will mind you but yeah. hey it's feeling pretty nice out there so that's right really enjoy yourself but, but looking we're, yeah we're looking yeah. at some sunny skies right yeah it looks yeah. like it's going to be a beautiful day and starting now here in bismarck at this time we are seeing a very beautiful sky here looking at our current kx cam we are seeing nothing but mainly sunny skies and this is just going to continue to persist during the rest of our late morning into early afternoon hours and our current temperatures are at 48 degrees and the winds are out of the north and west at 13 miles per hour and let's head over to williston we're also seeing those mainly sunny skies too and temperatures are at 46 degrees and the winds are out of the west northwest at 13 miles per hour. But as we head into our current storm team radar, we are seeing nothing but beautiful skies after seeing a little bit of cloud cover early on this morning due to our disturbance moving itself from the east from last night. But as we head over into our current temperatures, folks, our temperatures are mainly in the 40s, exception there in Henninger, Hinger, where it's already 50 degrees and there in Plentywood we have 39 degrees so it is still a little bit chilly there and as far as in Watford City we are seeing 45 degrees so these temperatures are expected to increase a little bit throughout the day and as far as our winds this is the reason why it's feeling crisp we're seeing those winds out of the north and west about 5 to 15 miles per hour so again it's feeling more like an early fall day instead of a late fall day but during the rest of the day today we will see those temperatures increase into the 40s and 50s so it looks like that sweater meter will stay at advised but once we get into tonight we will see those temperatures drop down into the 20s and 30s so it's going to be a chilly night but nothing too too outrageous but once we get into what is driving this right now is because we have this area of high pressure giving us that northerly flow for at the time being but however this area of high pressure will start to move itself towards the east and it will warm things up and give us more of a southerly flow as we head into our Thursday and our Friday and then we're going to be watching this system here as we head into our Saturday which could provide us some well needed precipitation for our north and west regions. Now we're going to continue to see our area of high pressure move its way towards the east and that's going to warm things up for our Thursday and into our Friday and then again we will be watching this disturbance here as we head into our Saturday which would bring us those chances of precipitation. Now here in Williston we will see those temperatures increase into the 50s for our Wednesday, Thursday and our Friday and then Saturday we will see that chance of rain and temperatures will be in the 40s during this time period as well. But as we head over into Dickinson, we will see those temperatures increase into the mid to upper 50s for our Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then we will see that chance of rain for our Saturday. And then one thing you will notice too, temperatures are going to be dropping into the 40s by the time we get into our Saturday and Sunday. And this is going to be due to that system and a trough digging in into the region as well. But as far as Minot is concerned, we will see those very beautiful conditions as we head into to our Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. But as we head into our Saturday, that's where that chance of rain will occur. And then those temperatures will be in the 40s by the time we get into the day on Saturday. But during the day on Tuesday of next week, we will be watching for a potential system moving on through and temperatures will be dropping into the 30s, which could provide us some precipitation. But we will be watching that very, very closely. And that same thing will happen here in Bismarck with that chance of rain coming into the area by Saturday and then we will see those temperatures drop down into the 40s by Saturday and again we will be watching for that system on Tuesday of next week. So Taylor it looks like conditions are going to finally cool down as we get into next week but yeah. for now just enjoy the above average temperatures. Well and hey you know I usually want to complain about rain on the weekend but I don't mind it this time of year. It gives me an excuse to stay indoors and kind of cuddle up have an excuse to not go outside right? yeah yeah and you know watch a good movie eat some popcorn and See? maybe you know drink some hot chocolate there if you go. will too a perfect saturday thank you very much andre and stay with us coming up next on kx news at noon we check